Morning boys and girls, it's Colin back again today, Tuesday for the second day for Christmas School Assembly. It's really good to see you and we're going to mention our competition at the end. But let's sing a when and means you then we're going to want to find out who the other wee boy was at Christmas time. <laughs> song a when a manger let's continue with our christmas journey story we were telling you yesterday how when god created the world there was a problem when sin came into the world and to take away that sin god promised he would send the messiah which was his son called jesus so the people have been waiting for hundreds for thousands of years we now come to the new testament and it's all about the birth of the baby lord jesus in the manger in the stable the promised messiah has now come but whenever we open up the new testament we learn about two baby boys who were these two baby boys we know one of them was called uh, jesus who was born in a stable uh, but the other one was called john because remember we showed you a bible verse and we talk about the, the promised messiah sorry i just had to get a glass of water there the other wee boy was called John. You know John the Baptist. He grew up with Jesus. Jesus uh, was about six months younger than John. Just normal little boys. Now, whenever Jesus was born, of course, he was perfect man, perfect boy, but perfect God at the same time. And we, John, we're going to find out about him. His father was called Zachariah. Very, very old man, married to Elizabeth. And whenever one day Zacharias was busy working, and an angel came to Zachariah and said, Zachariah, you're going to have a son. He said, me? I'm old enough to be a great grandfather. We have passed the time of having children. We don't have any children. And I said, I don't believe you. And the angel said, because you don't believe me, you're going to be struck dumb. And whenever you're dumb, what's wrong with your ears? <laughs> no, you can hear perfectly. When you're dumb, you can't speak. And for nine months he could not speak. Then in the meantime, an angel came to angel called Gabriel came to Mary and said, Mary, now Mary, whenever the angel came, Mary was afraid. But the angel said to Mary, Don't be afraid, fear not, because God has chosen you among all the girls in the whole world. God has chosen you, blessed are you among women, not above them, among them. And that was a special, a special moment whenever Mary was chosen to bring the baby Lord Jesus in and she shall bring forth a son I shall call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins so there's the story the reason why Jesus was come into the world call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins 
So now I've got two girls, one's called Elizabeth, one's called Mary, supernaturally, unnaturally, both of these women are going to have babies. Unnaturally, because Elizabeth is far too old to have a baby, and supernaturally, because God is going to allow it to happen. Unnaturally, because Mary never been married, never been with a man before. Supernaturally, because the Holy Ghost is going to come within Mary, and the wee baby is going to be born. And it's a, it's, this is the moment whenever baby Jesus is about to come into the world. So you've got Elizabeth going to bring John the Baptist into the world. The Bible says the wee baby leapt in the womb of his mother. Even the wee baby, while it's in the belly, the womb of Elizabeth, when Mary came, the Bible says John leapt in the womb with joy at the presence of baby Jesus being close beside him. They were like best friends as they grew up. And then the time came for John to be born because he couldn't speak. He wrote, his name shall be called John. And John the Baptist, because he was the one who was baptizing people whenever he, whenever he grew up. Here's me, baby John. 30 years later, he's busy baptizing people by the river and suddenly Jesus comes and he says, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Tell every, everyone about Jesus. Then there's Mary. She's expecting a baby. She's engaged to Joseph the carpenter. Goes back home to tell Joseph, Joseph, guess what? I'm going to have a baby. And Joseph goes, what? But you've been with Elizabeth for holidays for a long time. You go back to tell me you're going to have a baby. So he's troubled. Where's Mary Bain? Who's she been with? How come she's going to have a baby? We've never been married. And all of these questions. But then an angel came and said, Joseph, it's what Mary's told you is true. God has chosen Mary to bring the baby Jesus into the world. She is a chosen virgin, a pure woman, and she's going to bring baby Jesus into the world. Go ahead, marry her, love her, and, 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 and look after her, especially the baby Jesus. Then Joseph said to Mary, we've got to go to Bethlehem. We're going to pay our taxes. We've got to be counted in the census. And off they go, 85 mile journey. All the way to Bethlehem where they had to go and pay their taxes. Whenever they got there, they were exhausted. They were looking for a comfortable bed, a nice hot shower, a nice warm meal. But that wasn't going to happen. Whenever they got there, they locked all the doors of the hotels, the inns, everywhere was full. The final one they came to, they begged for a room for the night. My wife Mary's about to have a baby. He said, I'm sorry, there's no room. No room in the inn. That's like today. Many people have no room. No room in their homes. No room in their lives for Jesus. No room in their home for Jesus. And no room in their hearts. See, when you make room in your heart for the Lord Jesus and let him come in, take away all your sin, then you make room in your life. Then you make room in your home. That's the way it works. And that's what God says, my children, give me your heart. He said, there's no room. What was going to happen? That night Jesus was going to be born. And the man says, there's no room, no bed, no hospital. This was a king about to be born. Were they going to sleep in the street? Were they going to go into the fields? Was God going to allow Mary just to have a baby while she sat on the donkey? What's going to happen? Do you want to know? We'll tell you tomorrow. Let's do a quiz and we'll, we'll do a quiz. We've lots of quizzes here all the day with Christmas. And we'll do one on the... What about the presents? We all love presents, don't we? We'll try this one here. The present, the gift of God is eternal life. Right, you can choose your present and underneath these are scores. It was a draw yesterday and we need to have a winner today. Who can tell me the name of the other wee boy that was born at Christmas time? Not Jesus. Who was the other one? Girls. John, that's right. What do you want? The green in the middle. Okay. 80 points for the girls. Boys, whenever John was born, whenever uh, before he was born, whenever Mary came to visit her cousin Elizabeth, uh, what, ha what did the wee baby do in the womb? The wee baby John, when he realised Jesus was close, what did he do? He leapt with joy. Wonderful. The red one. Well done, boys. 50. Girls, what did he call the two mothers in this story today? The two mothers. Mary and Elizabeth. Yes, the big blue one. Girls, are, I think we're going to win today. We'll see what happens. Boys, what do you call the two wee babies then? John and Jesus. Well done. 
the red Christmas tree. Well done, boys. 40. Girls, anyone remember the name of John the Baptist's father? It begins with Z. Zachariah. Well done, boys. You want the double one? <coughs> Zero. Oh, no, 20. <laughs> um, girls, who can tell me whenever we talked about the Christmas story, why did God send Jesus into the world to take away our what? Our sins. Well done. The pink bow. That one. That's points. That's the boys. Well done, boys. Excellent. 60 points. Right, girls. We told you today about um, who told Mary she's going to have a baby. The angel Gabriel. Well done. Well done. 30 for the girls. Boys. Mary was told by the angel, call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. That's right, well done. Red one. Okay, there's 50. Okay, girls, final question. What's the score? The scores are 200 each again. That was like yesterday. 200 each. Do we have a winner today? Pink for girls, blue for boys. Girls, in the Christmas story, can anyone tell me, we were telling about whenever they went to a town to have, to pay their taxes, etc. What was the town called? Was it Balamoni, Balamina, Belfast? Starts with B. Bethlehem. That's right. Girls, pink. Ten. The boys have more than ten. If you do, the boys are going to be the winner. But it could be less than ten. It could be five or zero or two or eight. Boys, whenever they got to the end, was there lots of room? No, no room in the inn. Blue, is it more than 10? Can the boys win? 90! Yes! <laughs> well done, boys are the winners of the quiz today. Okay, let's go for the songs. Christmas song. We're going to sing the Hallelujah song. I absolutely love that we're going to do our competition. I like it. Don't forget to sing along if you can. Can you spell the word Hallelujah? Hallelujah?
the convocation is something to do with Christmas in your classroom. I want the teacher to send the name of the school, the teacher's name and the class. And there's going to be seven prizes given away on Thursday. For each class, there's going to be a primary one, a primary two, primary three. And it's open for all over the country. Whether you're living in Cork or Dublin or Donegal or Newton Arge or Enniskillen or Belfast. Right across the whole island, Northern Ireland, Southern Ireland. If you're watching, there's going to be prizes given out Thursdays. Anything to do with Christmas. That's a competition in your classroom. It can be a little tree. It can be uh, the little Christmas book if you got one of these or with children without children as long as I know who it was send it to the gmail biblefundmakergmail.com hope for youth ministries messenger or to the whatsapp number only teachers apply please thank you for watching and we're back again tomorrow to see was there any room for Jesus see you then bye